And in fact, let's talk a little bit about Wednesday. This inauguration of Joe Biden is set to potentially be the oddest one in living memory. Right now, Washington, D.C. looks more like a militarized zone rather than our nation's capital. There are fences with coiled barbed wire, security checkpoints, barricades, a giant wall around the South Lawn, and as many as 25,000 heavily armed National Guard troops stationed around the city. Videos that we saw that were shot by reporters or by people who are living in the city, they show streets being closed, workers putting up miles of barricades, shops and offices being boarded up, and of course, an increased military presence. Things like military vehicles can be seen parked on downtown streets, and armed guards are checking identification for people leaving and entering the city. So that indeed looks very militarized. In fact, the number of military troops in Washington, D.C. is 10 times the number of troops that America currently has in Iraq and Afghanistan combined. So how much is all this going to cost? Well, officials are estimating that this inauguration will wind up costing about $45 million. In terms of the amount of people who will actually be attending the inauguration, likely it'll be pretty small. Besides the heavy military presence, which might in and of itself keep people away, the mayor of D.C. issued a public statement urging people to stay home and to watch the inauguration virtually. Also, Airbnb is canceling all of their Washington, D.C. reservations during the inauguration weekend. And so there won't even really be that many places to stay. And right now I heard reports that most of the hotels in Washington, D.C. are booked by the soldiers. So. Now, some are criticizing this extreme level of security, saying that our nation's capital is like a pendulum. It swung from having uh, the bare minimum amount of security on January the 6th to now being a militarized zone today. For instance, Senator Rand Paul, he said, you know, government, they either underreact or overreact. So I think there was too little security, obviously, last week, and now we're going to become a militarized zone. Now, in terms of civil liberties, he went on to say that, and they're checking congressmen as they come in to see if they have a sharp pencil or a sharp pen. So it's gotten ridiculous. And so we'll see what happens and whether it's permanent. But most people who write about civil liberties say that in times of war or in times of stress or in times of crisis, you lose your civil liberties very quickly.